Hey, Shashank. Hello. Hi, everybody. So we're going to talk today about growth hacking. So Shashank, what does it take to actually be a growth hacker? Uh, before I tell you the three traits, in my opinion, to become a growth hacker, let me also clarify that growth hacking is not about tools or technology. It's a mindset. It's a process. Mm -hmm. uh, having said that, I believe there are three traits to becoming a growth hacker. You need to make the most out of what you have. A lot of people complain about not having a number of employees, the money, the resources uh, to scale up their business. That's not what a growth hacker thinks. A growth hacker thinks, this is what I have. How can I make the most with what I have at present without complaining about what they don't have or comparing themselves with other businesses who have the money or the resources? So you have to be resourceful as a Of course, person. yes. And secondly, uh, a growth hacker is always on the hunt to learn. Mm. It's not about learning here and there. It's about learning throughout the year. It's a 365 day nonstop learning process. So you need to have the hunger to learn from everyone not just people in your domain. Uh, you know, I'm into marketing and business development and consulting, but I also learned from people who are into customer service. Um, growth hacking is about de-siloing different departments, not thinking of marketing and business development as two different units and letting them work separately. It's about uniting all the data from different fields and making the most out of it. Mm -hmm. uh, and lastly, uh, growth hacking is about experimentation. Mm -hmm. uh, you would need to experiment and doesn't matter and people say oh what if we fail well if you already know the the, the result of an experiment it's not an experiment mm -hmm. so you need to have that experimentation attitude in your business in your life to become a growth hacker so those were my three traits to becoming a growth hacker